All right, now our chief meteorologist Kevin Robinson, where the forecast has kind of been a roll of the dice lately. Kevin, one day sunny, next moment gloomy. Rain is always a possibility. Yeah, and you don't have to go from day to day either. If you were up early today, you had sunshine. Now you've got rain across the area, and it looks like this shower activity is going to stick around through the evening and into the overnight. Fortunately, it doesn't appear it's going to be terribly heavy. It arrived a little bit sooner than expected, about three or four hours earlier than we thought it would, but nonetheless, you can see it pushing across the region and as we speak, let me show you though some good news. The back edge of the steady rains already beginning to move into parts of the viewing area. That's the upside. The rain arrived a little bit faster than it should have, but then it's also going to get out of here, at least to steady stuff a little bit sooner than expected as well. I'll zoom you in. You can see drying out now across parts of Southeast Indiana and Franklin County. You're now dry in Hamilton in terms of the steady rains falling. It's still going to be kind of damp and gloomy throughout the evening. So even if you're not picking up steady rain, you'll probably have some kind of misty showers or drizzle from time to time. Even here around the metro, things beginning to dry out in terms of the steady range, but they're now shifting off to the east side out through parts of Claremont County, Amelia, Batavia, back down towards Bethel. The shower activity a little bit steadier and heavier across parts of Pendleton County from Falmouth over towards Williamstown and Dry Ridge and then back into Owen County around Owenton and Hessler. And then the shower activity now spreading across the Ohio River and to southwest Ohio, Adams and Brown counties right now picking up some wet weather. So here's a look at your evening forecast. Again, I don't see heavy rainfall. I kind of see more misty showers, uh, maybe even some patchy areas of fog. Temperatures will slowly descend their way down through the upper 60s. We're not going to fall much. It's going to stay mild pretty much all night. So outside right now, you can see the kind of the gloomy conditions. Currently, the rain has let up downtown at the moment. Right now at the airport, 70 degrees. You can see the rain hasn't been terribly heavy, only two hundredths of an inch. And I don't expect this round of wet weather to really bring us much in the way of heavy rainfall. Temperatures are pretty uniform, close to 70 for most of us. And in fact, these temperatures aren't going to fall much tonight. If anything, our temperatures may actually level out, may climb a couple of degrees late tonight before falling during the day tomorrow. So right now, 70 in Loveland, Mason at 68, 68 in Harrison, 67 over in Brookville. So here comes that first slug of rain in our direction tonight. There's a storm center out towards St. Louis. This is going to head up towards Chicago or in the direction of Detroit. It's going to drag a cool front through here tomorrow, and that's why our temperatures will actually fall some during the daytime hours on Wednesday. Here's future cast. You can see the rain's not terribly heavy tonight, and if anything, it kind of lets up. And that's why I say more showers are kind of misty drizzle than anything really heavy. But we'll keep the threat for off and on rain through the night. The best chance at seeing rain tomorrow will be the first half of the day. I expect for it to be kind of wet and gloomy for your morning commute as you walk out the door. But we'll gradually dry out throughout the day. In fact, there may even be a brief peak or two at the sun. But by lunchtime, you'll step outside and you'll notice a change. Cooler air will be coming in and we're going to be stuck with clouds and kind of gloomy weather for about a day or so through Thursday. It's going to be Friday before we get an abundance of sunshine back and warmer weather. So 66 for a low tonight, wet and mild. There may be some patchy areas of fog, especially early this evening. And then for tomorrow, early showers and then mostly cloudy. This high of 71. Check this out. I want you to pay attention to the day planner here. It's 70 at 8 a.m. By lunchtime, though, temperatures will have fallen back into the low and mid 60s. So it will be cooler during the daytime hours tomorrow than how we start the day. Once we get the sun back on Friday, low temperatures will climb back into the middle 70s. And how about some beautiful weather, at least for the majority of the weekend? Highs warm for October in the 80s, Saturday and Sunday. But it looks like another round of showers and storms in here Sunday night. And that will be followed by cooler weather for early next week. Well, lots of families.